What's up, Stoners? Uh, it's actually my second attempt at shooting this episode because uh, basically I forgot to plug in the mic a minute ago. The mic that uh, recently. So now I have to fucking hold it. It's 8.30 in the morning. I slept terribly and exhausted, so that's why I look like shit. I don't care, though. We're doing an EP review. It's Thomas Lancaster out of Apple Valley, California. And oh, yeah, you probably don't want to look at this screen, so let's get this screen going instead. Uh, this EP is called Songs from My Couch. Um, you can find them at Thomas Lancaster Music or thomaslancaster.bandcamp.com. And uh, I did not do the songs <clears throat> in order to uh, the Bandcamp page. I did them in a different order, so bear with me on that. If this is your first time uh, watching the EP review, where basically I've got all my notes already. I've already jammed the entire EP and I uh, wrote down a whole bunch of notes for each song. And we do a pros and cons and a final score at the end. So uh, let's dive in. Track one for me was a song called Emma. Um, the song starts with a very raw sound. You can hear the pain. And Thomas's voice really well. Uh, he's very soulful. Just a man and his guitar singing about a woman he apparently has strong feelings about. And uh, it kind of sets a gentle, calm mood for the direction of what this uh, EP is going to sound like. So let's check it out. This is track one for me, Emma. Track two. I do that all the time. I forget that uh, the microphone is uh, not near me. <laughs> so I haven't been recording as much lately. And uh, oh, yeah, so if you missed what I just said, by the way, um, I only play about a minute and a minute and a half of the song, and that's really to encourage you to go to the band camp and uh, listen or possibly buy the music and support local music in general, especially Thomas. So um, that's why I play about a minute and a half each one. Track two for me is called Take Me Home, and uh, I'm starting to get a good feel for this EP already. I like the strumming and slapping sound that he's doing while playing. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a, an Ed Sheeran track. So I say we dive in. Let's do track two with Take Me Home. I just want to remember the way I felt before I grew up and changed myself back when the days were simple and the problem was someone else me home take me home my 
my night I just want to turn back the time And watch it all collide Take me home Take me home, the second track that I reviewed. Um, I think that's probably my favorite song on the CD, by the way. Um, just to get that out there. Track three for me was A Night with Britney, which is actually the first song that you're going to hear on the EP. Um, the quality of this track to me <clears throat> is slightly different than the rest. I don't know if you'll hear it or not hear it, but um, this is another very, very emotional song. Um, the lyrics are fairly sad on this one. So he kind of opens with some real deep rawness on this one. This is a uh, track one, A Night with Britney, but from the track three. Here we go. Vixen Misfit. Um, this is probably my second favorite one. This song reminds me of a mix between Bob Dylan and Johnny Cash. It's another sad, emotional song, but um, at the same time, some of the vocal melodies kind of have a slight John Lennon feel. Like I heard some harmonies and melodies that I feel like are really, really close to some old school John Lennon stuff. Maybe you guys hear it, maybe you don't. Let's check it out. Vixen Misfit, and by the way, you can go to at Thomas Lancaster Music at any time while you're listening to this and uh, like his page, his Facebook page. There's no sun from where I'm sitting, it's broken clouds and auburn paint. There's no sorry to be given. Can't erase the years away. Have a drink for tomorrow. Live tonight for today. And if it all falls apart, love, I'll be glad you still came. So that was Vixen Misfit. This is the Thomas Lancaster EP review. He's at Apple Valley, California. Facebook.com slash Thomas Lancaster Music. Uh, the pros and cons. I, the cons are, I thought the EP could be brighter in quality, and most of the songs sounded really similar. Like, there wasn't a lot of... It's just a sad, emotional EP altogether, which is, which is 
kind of where the pros are because for the pros I put very raw, very emotional. Um, I just wish there was like a song or two that was kind of like way different than the others that made it kind of stand out different and have like a different sound to it, I guess you'd say. And track one seemed to have like a little bit lower quality than the other uh, three tracks, but overall I think I'm going to go 8.1 out of 10 because I'm a sucker for storytelling style of music. Um, if, the, if the quality was recorded a little bit better, then I probably would increase that score. But overall, 8.1 is very respectable, I would say. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please, I encourage you to either go to thomaslancaster.bandcamp.com or on his Facebook page, Thomas Lancaster Music, and please support him. He's out of Apple Valley, California. And, uh, yeah, this is a uh, Wake and Bake EP review. I slept terribly, but uh, got to get the work done, got to keep going. So um, hopefully you guys had fun, enjoyed this one, and please support local music. Other than that, cheers. Be blazing. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.